Buildbox 3.1.1 beta is out, and it is awesome. Many new cool nodes, brain boxes, and interactive tutorials. In this video, I will show how to use slingshot node. And for bonus, camera rotation nodes and time step. Animax Games. I start with empty world. Everything is new in this version. Delete 2D world and add 3D world. As we are making 3D game this time. Open asset library. We need some shapes. Cube for ground. Three spheres. One pyramid. And one more cube. Close library. I name first cube as ground. And setting orientation to landscape. Actually, never mind. Not going to use ground at all. Naming first sphere is actor. In this version, you can set physics right here. Dynamic it is. Second sphere will be sling asset. No physics. And I drag actor asset under character group. Setting collision group also is character. Third sphere is dot, needed for slingshot node. Pyramid is an arrow. Also needed for slingshot node. And cube is a handle. Again, for slingshot node. To make life easier, I just drag glass wall and glass debris assets. If character collides with glass wall, it cracks. And after 6 hits, it will explode. In glass debris asset, I added some camera rotation effects. Now open Sling Assets node map. Open Actions menu and find Sling Shot node. Connect it with Start node. Projectile Asset is what gets launched. So, it must be Dynamic Object, Actor in this example. Rest of these three assets are without physics. Arrow is that thing, which points direction. Line dots are middle part of sling animation. And handle is last part of animation. Plane is direction, where it shoots. And you can invert controls, if you want. Drag sling asset to your scene. Adding glass wall now, so we can shoot it. Damn. Let's move wall. And scale down slingshot assets.
if you scale assets in node map, you need to adjust collision shape also. I keep collision shape little bit bigger, so it collides for sure. Time to fine tune it and add some camera movements later. Thank you for watching. See you next time.